a very busy first day back to Revis High School. And unless, they, unless you took summer school, driver's education, or stop by for any of our athletic camps, this is your first time on campus. It's the first time you're really in a structured educational environment. It takes a lot to be here, so I appreciate you adjusting your attention and adjusting yourself. Take a minute to make sure your masks are completely covering your nose and your mouth, if you could do that. And then go ahead and sit up in your chair so I can see your faces. It's been a while since March 13th that right, we've actually engaged with one another. And so I really like the chance to get to see you, get to read your body language, and make sure I'm answering all the questions you're going to have about really what does school look like this year. Um, if you're sitting in a masking tape chair, you gotta go down. You gotta scoot down. So can you scoot down two seats? There you go. Okay, great. Sorry about that, but we just really want to make sure we're practicing all safe practices as we return. Thank you. So we have four themes this year that are gonna guide us. These are things we always follow, but it's so much more important that we're doing it now than ever. And that is just keeping simple, right? The world is pretty complex as it is. There's no need to make it harder. So today, simple. This year, clear. Overall, we have to be flexible. And most importantly, we have to collaborate. All right? So I would like you to really evaluate your first day back when you get home tonight. Like, go home, have lunch, you know, talk to your friends, log on, speak with the people in your home. Before you go to bed tonight, I really want to make sure that you think you feel that you got this, that you know exactly how you're going to come back as sophomores. Because, right, March 13th, whoo, came and it just left. And your freshman year didn't end the way you thought it would end. But let me tell you, some really good things came from that spring. Number one, on May 16th, we held a graduation for the class of 2020. That's how we did it. They were outside in a parking lot, we walked the stage. I didn't touch any diplomas, no high fives. We didn't hug. The families came in the carloads. They had signs and balloons and laughter. Some brought lawn chairs, some brought limos. Everybody brought tears of joy because we were actually celebrating this awesome class. And what I learned that day from the class of 2020 was a lot, but two things vividly, vividly stick in my mind. One, closure feels good, right? Sometimes goodbyes are hard. They don't feel good, but they happen, and we move forward. In the class of 2020, saying goodbye, walking across the stage, having some closure to the school year, resulted in my next favorite thing I learned. I was hopeful. I knew I was getting you. They leave, you become sophomores. They leave, you become the next set of leaders. They leave and say, Red, this is going to be okay. You're going to get through this. We did. See what we did? You can do it too. What a cool feeling to know that I have you to help the incoming freshmen make it. You've already learned. You've already remote learned. You've already done virtual. And you've already been in person. I mean, seriously, you're experts. You know exactly what to do. And we are going to help make sure it's better this time. And it will be better. Now on top of school ending abruptly, there's this fear, there's this stress that the virus has caused us, right? This uncertainty, this uncomfortableness, these polarizing feelings that surround us. And, and every day I, I feel a little like this. You know, like I feel good, and I, I feel triggered. I don't know if you felt that way. Where I'm, boom, short, like tempered, and I'm like, no, it's gonna be okay, very good. And then on top of this, like, fear, we dealt with some heavy, heavy topics this summer dealing with civil unrest, with injustice, with racial inequality. Those are some major topics.
topics to pile on top of where we already were. Over the summer, while this was all going on, that middle picture up there, the two girls on the end, Melissa and Luz, they're like famous now, I've been talking about them forever. They're Revis graduates, they were our students approximately 10, 12 years ago. And they, now they have kids, and you know, little kids, but you know, they're adults, right? And they're best friends. And they feel completely opposite on how they think things should go, whether it's the virus, whether it's inequality, whether it's politics, they're just, they're on the opposite end. But they're best friends. And they called us up and they basically said, look, we don't even agree and we like each other. <laughs> but here's one thing we do agree on. We love, love, love this community. And we think everybody should be kind. And we want to have some peace. So we're doing a peace walk. And we're doing it Sunday. And we want to let you know. So the two people in the middle, Dr. Reardon and myself, we showed up. And I'm telling you this because you have to know this. Because we're going to show up for you. When you come back to school, the focus should be on learning. And it should be a safe environment. And you shouldn't have to worry about all these other things. But let's face it, they're there. And we've got to get through it. You all belong here. Your families, they belong here. You don't have to fit in. You don't have to try to make it work. You don't have to be worried that you're bothering us for help. Or shoot, that's too many emails. It's not. This is your school. This is your home. And Dr. Reardon and I went on that Sunday because we can't walk in your shoes. We don't know how you feel about certain things or what you had to deal with to just get here today. But I guarantee you we will walk with you. We will stand beside you. We will do our best. Even if it's all we can do is listen. We will do that empathetically. We really care about you guys. We really care about you, your families. We want you to succeed. And if we're going to talk about learning, but we've got to talk about safety, right? We've got to talk about guidelines. We've got to talk about unrest. We want it to be done where you come to school and you don't have to worry about it. That you can worry about what? Teenage things. For once in a while. Like, who's my teacher? And what's homework to them? And do I have to be on that virtual meeting? And what's going to happen if I'm late? Or what's going to happen if I give this speech in a recording? Will they take it that way or do I have to do it in person, right? Those are normal things that should be of your concern. So when we created this plan to get you here today, we didn't do this on our own. We made sure we were in stage four. So we, we talked with Illinois, right? We talked with the health department. Are we in compliance with the rules? We talked to the State Board of Education, like the boss of all schools. They're located in Springfield, Illinois, south of here, south of I-80, south of Champaign. And we talked to our Board of Education, our leaders, your parents, your guardians, with surveys, with task force, and said, hey, do you approve this? Does this make sense? And we're here now, and we're giving it a try, and we're taking it one day at a time. Our plan can pivot on a dime. If a miracle happened, and we all could come back to school tomorrow, which unfortunately is not going to happen, but if it did, we know how to open up a school. We're good. We got it. We're ready. If unfortunately we had to pivot to full remote, this plan can do that. So you're doing something you would do regardless. You just have to pretend that you're always in school. You just gotta pretend you're always in school. I'm always in school. Whether you're physically in this building or not. There are three things you have to do. I'm gonna keep reminding you to do this, and I can see some of you have to practice it right now. 
You have to have the mask on over the nose and under the mouth. We will not allow you to stay if you cannot wear your mask. So I'm just letting you know that you will not be able to stay. But you're doing a really good job overall. Just keep, just keep checking, just keep checking. You gotta wash your hands with antibacterial soap. I even feel a little silly reminding you, you've been washing hands for years. You can do like your own video on it. I don't know if you can do TikTok if that's just dance. I mean, you could literally do a YouTube. I am confident you can do it. And finally, I think the hardest thing, I know it's the hardest thing for me, is social distancing. It's not walking near people. As human beings, it's just normal, right? We just walk for people. We just, I don't know if you're a hugger, I'm a hugger. It's really hard to not be near you. But that is what is going to make this place safe. So when you're in this school or on this campus, you're gonna see stickers and plexiglass and one ways and exit onlys and all those things. And plenty and plenty and plenty of staff here to help. We've got a social distance. Does that make sense? Those are your three jobs as leaders as the class of 2023. We're going to look to you to teach the freshmen and to make sure we're all following and staying safe. Okay, so everybody's on deck. You guys know that. You ready? You ready to report for duty? You're all set? Okay. So, stronger together. We're always better together, but we're going to be stronger together this year. Grades are going to count. Attendance matters. But let's face it, if you are not well, you shouldn't come. All right? Really, seriously, take your health seriously. You are to log in virtually or remotely or be to school on time. Because everything you're doing in your classes is everything you would have been doing if you were in your classes five days a week. It's all important. So make sure you're engaging. You can't be like, eh, not today for virtual. I'm just going to have to sit this one out. Like you can't. Like you can't sit out. It's totally different than the spring. You're going to be required to be here. Does that make sense? Virtually or remotely or in person, okay? Um, you know how to find me online. I told you I'm on Twitter. You also know how to find me by email. Please, you know, do so. Um, and if you want to be part of the Principal's Voice, which we meet every month, a lot of freshmen and their classmates joined last spring. It's a great time to talk about what is it you need to know. All right, so you can still do that. We have four approved sports running, tennis, cross country, swimming and diving, and golf. Everybody else is on pause. Stay tuned, right? Just stay tuned. Soon as we know, we'll let you know. Those of you who are active in those four, coaches and the athletic director will stay with you. And you'll have a session on that, or you already have, no, you will have a session on that. They'll be coming up, okay? But we're going to follow the guidance. Take it one day at a time. Finally, this is really what it's all about, you guys. It's about having fun. It's about making friends. It's about laughing. It's about, like, really, just being a teenager. Just being a teenager. Growing up, making mistakes, having success, figuring it out, moving forward, growing into the person you want to be. It's all about you. It really is. It's all about you. And we will get back to this. We will have this again. And in the meantime, we really need you to help us. What is it that we can do to connect with you in a remote world? What will that look like? What would you wish we would do? Those are the feedbacks I would be looking for. Things I would love for you to share. Because one day, and it's going to go so fast, this is going to be you. You are going to throw your hat. Whether you're in that gym or in that parking lot, you're going to walk that stage. And you're going to look back and say, can you believe our sophomore year? Can you believe it? Do you remember when? What were you doing on March 13th, between 5th and 6th period, when the announcement came? I'll tell you where I was. I was in my office with the administrative team, and I heard you cheering in those hallways. I heard you. You thought it was like extended spring break, like, woo! We got two days, woo! And then it got really, really, really somber, and it was like, oh, well, OK. 
okay, well, I mean, I can stay home for April. I, I don't want to be back on May. And then May came and went. So, I mean, we got to be prepared for anything. But this day will come. This day will come. And you will be there. That is why this semester is critical. It's critical for you. Matt Diaz, the class of 2020, said we thrive when we're together. He didn't say we thrive only if we make all the right choices. He didn't say we thrive if we have the most money. He didn't say we thrive if we get the best grades. He said we just thrive if we're together. And being around each other makes me feel amazing. Your energy is the gas in my car. Like, you fill me up so I can come to school every day. That's how powerful teenagers are. That's how powerful you are. I am completely confident. There's no other generation that can do virtual learning like you. Like, no other. You've only ever been born with technology. This is the only world you know. You have more platforms and resources and access than ever before. And you're so fast at finding things. Gosh darn it, you're quick. You just know how to do it. So trust your gut. Trust your heart. Trust your brain. Follow your compass toward your dreams. You are more than capable. You are smart. Your teachers and your coaches and your sponsors, we're going to help facilitate the material, right, and the content. Because you don't have a lot of experiences yet, but you are on your way. So we're going to get you that exposure so you can be in charge of your learning that leads you to the life that you're starting to think about wanting. I mean, that's the coolest part about being a teen. You get to try things, and you get to change your mind. And ultimately, you get to be whoever you want to be. You're going to get two more rotations that talk very, very specifically about academics, and then also about technology, like what platforms are my teachers using, and what do I really got to do, and sports, and activities. So that's going to be like the meat and potatoes. But this is the overview. Okay? So you kind of know where you sit. Does this make all sense for you? You feel like, I kind of knew this coming in? Like you weren't expecting me to say, just take a gap year. Did, were you thinking that? Did you think I was going to say that? No, well, you didn't think that. You knew I wasn't going to say that. I sure missed you, though. I really did. Help me remember your name. Help me not lose sight of your face. Each one of you are a huge part of the class of 23 which in total is a part of the whole school. And we wouldn't be here without you. So we need you just as much as you need us. All right, have a great day. And uh, sit tight. And if you need to like, stretch, you know, go ahead and like, shake it out. And uh, another presenter will be coming by, okay? All right, have a great one.